Hi there. So last week I came across a super cool project repository on GitHub by Langchain called Open Deep Research. And as soon as I came across it, I was intrigued. So I decided to understand it fully. And to do that, I actually converted the whole project, which was written in Python into TypeScript, which took me two days. And after that, it occurred to me to actually try to convert it into N8N, which took me another day and a half, but I was actually able to do exactly that so that's what i'm going to be actually showing you guys today in this video so i'm really excited and for those of you who haven't heard of langchain it is a code based orchestration tool that allows us to build flexible agentic systems and it's really powerful in fact this is what any and uses under the hood for their ai based nodes such as the ai agents and so on so it's also popular now let's actually take a look at the project description so it says open deep research is a web research assistant that generates comprehensive reports on any topic following a workflow similar to OpenAI and gemini deep research however it also allows you to customize the models prompts report structure search api and research depth specifically you can customize the ones here that it shows and here we can see a diagram that they created to illustrate the whole process at a high level which is broken into two main parts the planning and the research part which corresponds to these two parts here on our canvas so this is the planning part or we can call it phase right the planning phase and then this is the research phase here highlighted with red in the planning phase we will collaboratively generate the sections of the report until we are satisfied and once satisfied we will kick off the research phase where a team of agents will be assigned to each sections of the report and they will be working simultaneously to complete it so this workflow actually consists of some key concepts such as human in the loop parallelization dynamic generation or creation of agents at runtime evaluator and optimizer pattern and more which we'll actually be looking in detail but before that i would like to first demonstrate an example so that we can see the system in action and after that we'll dig deeper into understanding how this whole workflow works by looking into each of the nodes and see what it does also we are going to be using cutting edge models for this like cloud sonnet 3.7 and o3 mini across the workflow so that we can see the best version of this workflow and after the run we'll take a look at how much it has cost us to actually run this particular research so it's going to be really cool and without further ado let's just get started all right so to start i'm going to click on test workflow so that the system can start waiting for a telegram message right and by the way for uh had just a heads up that this workflow here is actually located in this canvas the reason i copy pasted it into this canvas is so that we can see everything in one place but apart from that, it, it's not doing anything right now, right? And this workflow here is the team of agents that's actually going to be working on each section. So we'll have multiple of these running parallelly together to complete each section of the report. So uh, we're going to be seeing that in a minute. But with that out of the way, let's actually start with sending our topic to the agent, right? Or to this uh, workflow here. I'm just gonna zoom into this because this is the part that's gonna execute first, right? And I'll head over to my Telegram chat and you can see that I already have a topic ready to save time. I'm seeking potential business ideas centered on, L on an LLM-based agentic framework that automates processes for small to medium-sized enterprise and so on. And the idea should be viable given the projected capabilities of AI agents in 2025. And I intend to utilize tools like N8N and Langraph to develop these agents, right? So I'll go ahead and click on send. Um, okay, I'll just click on test workflow again. It should start after that, right? And you can see that it actually kicked off. It's generating the queries right now for us. And once it's done generating the queries, it's gonna split them and run parallel search using Tavili's API. And then it's gonna format the results and then pass it to the report planner. And the report planner is gonna generate the reports by looking at the, res uh, the search results. Once the report planner is done with generating the reports, it's actually gonna ask for our feedback through Telegram. And we'll be seeing that in just a moment once it's done with its process. All right, so now we are in the human feedback uh, node where it's waiting for our response, right? You can see that it generated these uh, following sections. So we have the introduction, evolution of from RPA to agentic process automation, LLM-based agentic frameworks, components and architecture, tools for building agentic solutions, N8N, and etc. You can see each of these uh, has a description, right? And there's also another field that says research needed, which can either be no or yes. And this just means that for the final sections, right, like the introduction and conclusion, we don't really need to research, but we'll be populating them based on the results we get from 
the main uh, main body of the report so i'm just going to go over and click on provide your feedback where i'll be providing my feedback right and then let's take a look at what we can change here for example what can we just get rid of right industry specific application this sounds nice multi agents challenges and you know what i'm going to try to remove challenges and ethical considerations so please remove challenges and ethical considerations and let's see what happens then so now we passed our feedback back to the agent and it took that feedback and using that feedback it's actually regenerating the report based on it and once it's done it's going to do the same thing where it's going to pass it back to us for our approval and if you approve this time it's actually going to kick off with the research where we'll go into this second phase which is where the actual research will happen so we got our message from our agent again it's waiting for our feedback let's take a look at what it did so we can see that in the second one we wanted to actually uh, remove challenges and ethical considerations right and we can see that now we don't have that section anymore so it basically excluded it from the report I'm not sure if we should just ask for another uh, change or we can just start with this. So let's take a look if there's anything else we want to change. All right. And I'm going to be looking at tools for building evolution from RPA to agentic. What exactly? I don't even know what RPA is. Evolution from RPA to agentic process automation description exploration of how traditional robotic process automation RPA is evolving to more sophisticated agent process automation. This section covers the fundamental shifts in approach and business applications. I'm actually going to tell it to also remove this because we want to only, uh, let me say that, let me tell it to remove this. Please remove the following section, AI agent, uh, AI agent business applications. Okay. So I'm going to click on submit now. So now we provided with our next feedback and this feedback is sent back to our report planner, which is now going to look at our feedback and generate the plan accordingly or readjust the sections accordingly. And you can see that it actually did it and sent us a new feedback. Let's take a look at what we have now. So I'm going to actually click on uh, provide your feedback so you can see it more clearly, right? So now we can see that it removed the RPA based uh, agentic systems and in, in, it included LLM based agentic frameworks and then tools for building agentic solutions and it and then language chain and this is pretty much good now right and i think we can just kick off this one so i'm going to approve this and i'll say this is great let's proceed okay so i'm going to click on send and once we do that we are going to again kick off the execution or the research phase and in this phase you can see that we are hitting the execute research where we'll be researching six sections right in total we have eight sections but here we're only researching six sections because remember that introduction and conclusion was not going to be researched right so we are just researching the ones that are supposed to be researched and here we see that this workflow here is running parallelly to actually complete this part of um, the process and we were running four of it just now and now we just have two left which are running again parallelly to complete each sections of the report right and once it's complete we are going to be proceeding with the next steps of the workflow so you can see that we have five completed already and we are waiting for one of the section to be completed as well. And huh? all right, so we unfortunately got an error at the final section writer note related to Cloud Sonnet 3.7 having limited cap uh, token capacity, right? Which kind of sucks, but uh, I'm just going to turn to uh, switch this to O3 Mini because of that and just manually continue with the rest of this workflow. So I click on play. And now we're going to wait for this to process and then we'll have the final report compiled and then sent us to telegram as a markdown file all right so now we have a research report markdown file on telegram we're going to actually look at this report in a second but before that let's actually take a look at how much it cost us but let me just go and remember how much it was before we even started all right i'm back i just watched the previous footage on to remember the numbers so apparently we were at 570 spending on open ai and now we are at 622 and we were at 250 budget for anthropic so now we're at 188 right so for this we'll have to calculate in the opposite way because here we are calculating our spending for open ai and on anthropic what's happening is we are reducing or deducting from our budget okay so here we can see that we spent around 62 cents right so 62 cents here and that's 62 cents plus uh 52 cents that's like 112 cents oh wait no uh, what, what 114 cents which equates to one dollar and 14 cents so this whole run actually cost us that much and i'm gonna leave it to you to decide whether or not that's a lot but of course we've been 
using cutting edge models right so it's pretty normal we could have used a model like 4 or mini or gemini flash 2.0 which would have been significantly cheaper probably at the range of five to ten cents if you use mini with flash that would be even cheaper so yeah and now let's take a look at the report that was generated for us i'm gonna go over and click on that and let's expand this okay we are going to preview this with uh, markdown right i'm gonna click on open preview for this so this is what it generated for us llm based agentic frameworks pioneering process automations for SME, small, uh, I, uh, wait, small, medium sized enterprises. Okay. Exactly what we are looking for. Small, medium businesses, right? This report explores innovative business ideas that leverage LLM based agentic frameworks to automate essential processes within small to medium sized enterprises. And we can see the second section, deep dive into technical foundations of agentic frameworks. Uh, there are sensors, which makes sense. We can connect like sensors to our workflows, right? Reasoning engines like LLMs. And then actuators mechanism that executes the planned actions like any and stuff like that memory modules you know components that store state and pass interactions we also have it in any then as well where we can save the store of the current conversation right there's analysis of agentic solutions using any and a length chain let's take a look if it actually did a good job here uh so no code interface okay when combined with lang chains context aware natural language processing framework businesses can create robust ai agents that effectively process and respond to sophisticated tasks all right and this combination facilitates the development of modular chatbots automated report generation and data extraction systems perfect a specific case study involves an agentic telegram chatbot which i like how this is exactly what we are building right now so it's kind of funny in this example and any ends telegram trigger note listens for incoming messages the workflow then passes these messages to a lang chain agent node that activates context aware models perfect right and depending on user input the agent can invoke additional nodes such as http requests to interface with dal e for image generation etc right and this automated response system not only enhances customer service by providing providing real-time context which replies but also streamlines daily operation without extensive coding which is also accurate let's take a look at the key benefits no code design for rapid deployment advancement advanced ai reasoning for dynamic tool selection customizable workflow scaling to specific uh, small medium enterprise needs right by the way another thing to note is how it actually attaches sources uh, for each of the section that it generates which is also awesome right as a system and then we have viable business ideas for smes using agentic ai frameworks we have customer service automation workflow coordination seamlessly integrating data from this uh, disparate sources to generate timely insights which is nice operational efficiency automating repetitive tasks such as order processing invoicing and report generation which is also viable right a notable case study involves a mid-sized legal services firm that integrated a custom ai co-pilot to automate document review and contract analysis this reduced turnaround time significantly and allowed staff to focus on high value legal work. As technical capabilities in agentic AI mature, SMEs can expect further enhancement in customers, customizability, security and integration ease, laying the foundation for scalable automation and improved competitive positioning. And we have another sources for this section as well. And then we have other sections, applications of agentic frameworks across industries, examination of multi-agent multi collaboration, conclusion and future outlook, it created a table for us that has two columns aspect and insight the architecture the tool integration business impact future outlook and that's pretty much it right it was actually able to provide us with some valuable information i was even able to provide us with the sources to each of the sections that it generated for us which is again super cool so overall i'm really impressed by this architecture and i want to say congratulations to langchain for this beautiful work that they did and i was definitely able to learn a lot of things by trying to implement this both in typescript and then on n8 and it provided me with a lot of valuable lessons and i'm really grateful for that thank you langchain and this is why i love open source projects by the way i'm also going to be uploading this file here along with the n8 and templates to my school community at business ai alliance so feel free to join to get access to these resources and with that said without further ado let's actually understand what's happening in each of these nodes and how this whole thing works together to actually make this happen. Happen.